Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the films that I watched during the month of September, so stick around. So today I wanted to take time to go over all of the films that I watched during the month of September. I will be using my Letterboxd account to where I keep up with the titles that I watch. Um, so if you'd like to follow along with me, I do have a link down below of my letterbox. Um, and then you can see um, what I've watched each day. Now, I did take a Disney vacation during the last week of September. Hence, that's why I'm wearing the Disney shirt. So there were some days that I actually took off from watching any films. I kind of wanted to just focus on my family and the parks. So I did not watch films this, this time around. So I did not watch a film every single day this particular month. But I did watch quite a bit. Um, and I'll go over each of those titles and how I rank them. So first up, I was doing a live stream on um, Geeks, and Fle Geeks and Flicks channel about the Alien franchise. So I did watch Prometheus for the first time. I really enjoyed the film um, for what it was. I gave it three stars and a heart. I think it's very worthy to add that as part of the Alien franchise. So happy that I was able to watch that. I also watched Alien Covenant. Um, this one right here I gave two and a half stars and a heart because I did like it for what it was. Um, they're not my favorites of the Alien franchises, um, but I still enjoyed those. Okay, next up I watched um, the Life and Adventures of Nicholas Nickleby. Now, this right here was a first time watch. It is an older film, as you may be able to tell from the cover. Um, I do like the older films. I gave that one two and a half stars and a heart. It wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't terrible. Um, it kind of was um, slow, as you can imagine. But overall, I did enjoy the film. Um, the next one I watched was called Shame. This right here was the second time watch for me. It had been a while since I'd seen it. And after seeing all of the Alien, Alien Covenant, Prometheus, I wanted to see Michael Fassbender again in this performance because it was, it was one of his best um, dealing with addiction. I gave this one three stars. I didn't give it a heart because this is one that I really wouldn't want to revisit too often. But I did um, appreciate the second time viewing of it and just watch the performances, I think you would really appreciate it. Okay, next film I watched was in the theater. I watched Reagan. Um, I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. I think overall I enjoyed the story. The performance of um, Dennis Quaid playing Reagan to me was kind of off. Um, but overall I did um, enjoy what I was able to see, especially the, the latter half of it. Okay, next up, I watched Beetlejuice. Of course, I've seen this many times. Very great memories of this film. Um, first time watched that I watched it back in the 80s when it was released in the theater. Um, but I wanted to revisit this one before I went to see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So Beetlejuice, I gave three and a half stars and a heart. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, next up, I saw Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice in the theater. Um, really enjoyed it for what it was also. I thought it was a pretty good continuation from the original story and very happy that I was able to see it. I think it was worth what they did with it and definitely looking forward to owning that one. So Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice I also gave, well, Beetlejuice I gave three and a half stars and a heart. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice I gave three stars and a heart. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but to me I thought it was, uh, it was good enough for me. Okay, next up, I watched Tigerland. I did get the new still book in from the UK. Had never seen Tigerland before. I gave it three stars and a heart. Very slow paced, dark, um, gritty, um, worth the watch. I think I would love to have a better release here in the United States of this, um, but I'm very happy to have this one in the collection. Okay, continuing on with the Alien franchise, I did watch Alien vs. Predator. And also Alien vs. Predator Requiem. These two films I did not care much for. Um, Alien vs. Predator, I gave one star, no heart. And same way with Alien vs. Predator Requiem, one star, no heart. It was okay for what it was, but very forgettable. Probably need to revisit these later on, maybe. 
as I rewatched the whole franchise. Um, but yeah, they weren't the best. Um, next up, I watched a film called Gary. And I'm trying to remember what Gary was. Oh, I know what it was. So I watched the Gary Coleman documentary. Um, I grew up watching, I grew up in the 70s and the early 80s. And Different Strokes was a part of my childhood watching those, that TV series. And so I would love, I wanted to see what this documentary was going to be about, about Gary Coleman. I thought it was pretty well done. I gave it two stars and a heart. It wasn't the best documentary I've ever seen, but it wasn't terrible. And I think if you've got fond memories of Gary Coleman in, as part of your childhood, that this would be worth something that you should see. Okay, next up, I watched Pain and Glory. I gave this one two and a half stars and a heart. This right here um, is a, a foreign language film starring Antonio Banderas. Um, and just his story... It was, um, I don't know, I, it was okay. I thought it had great performances. That's the reason why I gave it a heart. But two and a half stars. I probably need to revisit this one. I don't remember much about it, unfortunately. I remember bits and pieces of it. Okay, next up, I watched Belly, the 4K release. I've had this in the collection for a very long time. Finally wanted to check it out. I gave it one star, no heart. I didn't didn't really care much for it. it it didn't do anything for me I was kind of a little bit let down I was expecting more from the story um, so yeah I gave it one star next up the next two the next two films that I watch is a part of a double pack they both got the same score as belly they both got one star no heart um, hotspot has got Don Johnson um, and I can't remember her name but there she is. To me, it was an okay story. It kind of felt... I don't know. It, it was slow. But it had some good performances. But it kind of felt a little bit cheesy. Um, and then Killing Me Softly was definitely cheesy. I liked the latter half of Killing Me Softly when it became more of a thriller. Um... But the first part of it was very sexual, and I didn't care much for that, um, so I finally watched those. Okay, next up, I watched The Disappearance of Alice Creed. Right here, I gave it three stars and a heart. Um, I'm trying to remember... Oh, I remember this one excellent movie i really enjoyed this one it took me a while because this image right here doesn't really do much for me but then i saw the characters at the bottom so this is about a kidnapping for money and a hostage situation and the way that the story unfolds was excellent 100 percent you need to watch this film so the dip disappearance of alice creed is a 100 percent recommendation for me i gave it three stars and a heart definitely see it. I don't want to, to say much more about it. Okay, next up, I watched A Simple Favor. Um, I had never seen this one before. It's been in my watch pile for a very long time. I gave this one three stars and a heart. This was kind of a quirky thriller type film. Um, great performances by Blake Lively. Um, Anna Kendrick, I don't know, just kind of fell off in this. Kind of felt kind of goofy, but overall I did enjoy the story, um, and this would be one that I would re recommend you check out. So like I said, three stars and a heart. Next up, I watched McFarland USA. Um, somebody had recommended for me to check this out, so I did. Excellent film. I've had this one in the collection for years and years. Never saw it. I gave this one three and a half stars and a heart. Great Disney film. Great story. Great performances. Um, one of those that you should definitely check out. I never really heard much about it, so I'm glad that I finally watched it. Okay, next up, I watched Lucky Number Slevin. This was a recommendation from someone, and I'm very happy that I have it in the collection. I actually ordered this one from Amazon just to watch because of the recommendation. I gave this one 
three stars and a heart. Very good story. Um, very surprising and one that I would 100% recommend you check out. Next up, I watched Operation Fortune. Um, I've had this one in the collection for a while. It has been in my watch pile for a while. As you can tell, it is another one that has Josh Hartnett in it. So I was kind of doing a Josh Hartnett watch, I guess. This one was pretty good. It was a little weird in points, a little, sl little slow, but great performances. Um, I gave that one three stars and a heart. It's one that you really never heard anybody talk about, but one that I would recommend you check out. Okay, next up, I watched Crazy Rich Asians. I was wanting to watch this for a first time watch. And I got through about the second half of the film and realized I have already seen this film before, way back when it was first released. Didn't remember anything about it up until that last portion of it. Then it all came back to me. Um, it's a romantic comedy film. I gave this one two and a half stars and a heart because I did enjoy it, but it wasn't my favorite romantic comedy. Okay, next up I watched um, After Dark, My Sweet. This right here stars Jason Patrick and Rachel Ward. Um, it's also got Bruce Stern in it. It is a Kino Lorber release. And I had never seen this one before. And boy, it was slow. It was very slow. I gave it one half star and no heart. I don't know what it was about the film. It, to me, I just did not enjoy it. Then afterwards, I watched the special features, hoping that it would give me more inspiration of what I just watched. But it really didn't do much for me either. So I do not recommend that one. Next up, I watched Clue. Um, I gave this one two stars and a heart. I've only seen this movie once back when it was first released. So this has been in my watch pile ever since I added the 4K release and I wanted to check it out. This time around when I watched it, I found it to be really... It, it seemed really goofy, which I guess this type of movie should feel goofy. I was hoping that it would have been more of a mystery type film, um, but I did give it two stars and a heart. The heart is for nostalgia, but one that I will not revisit very often. Okay, next up, I watched a short film. So next up, so after Clue, I went on my Disney vacation. Um, we were gone from Saturday through Friday. So when I got back home, I thought I got to get back to watching my movies. Um, so on the 28th of September, I, first off, I watched a short film called Other Side of the Box. Very interesting. I really enjoyed it. It's a very short, maybe 15 minute film. And um, I think someone had recommended that I check it out on Gizmo's channel. So I did. And I really enjoyed it. I gave it two stars and a heart. Um, but yeah, just a short film. But I also watched a film afterwards. I watched Incendies for the first time. It had been in my watch pile forever. And I finally wanted to watch it. So I did. This one got four stars and a heart, which is a really high rating out of five. Um, it's a foreign language film. It is slow, but you need to pay attention to it. You need to watch it. If you do watch it, um, great cast, great acting, great story, and a great ending. So 100% um, check this film out. And... On the 29th of the month, I watched Islands in the Stream. This right here was another recommendation. This was a slow movie. I enjoyed mostly the first half of the movie where the father spends time with his um, sons um, who haven't really been in his life very much. And I really enjoyed that part of the story. The second half was more of a... Um, I don't know, it's more of a war type story and I can see why I can see why it's important to the story but the second half just wasn't as interesting to me but still a great film I gave this one two and a half stars and a heart and I'm very happy that I have it in the collection it's one that I will revisit and um, check out at a later time 
Okay, for the last day of the month, I was able to um, see a, a movie in the theater because I hadn't really been using my theater pass as often during September because of the break going on vacation. Um, but I did watch The Substance. Um, everybody was kind of raving about it. I wanted to see what it was about. I was warned about the nudity in the film, um, but which I appreciate that I was warned about it. But overall, I really enjoyed the film. I thought it was a really good performance by everybody involved. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. Um, that's one that I will definitely want in the collection. I think it had a really good message and some great performances and some really great special effects and um, a body horror type film. I thought it was very well done and I'm very happy that I was able to see that one in the theater. So those are all of the titles that I watched during the month of September. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I watched. And also let me know some recommendations of other titles that you would like that I should check out. Because I really do appreciate your recommendations. But thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And we will see you next time.